What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Wonderfest 2019 exclusive Sungut's Baragon. Now from what I know about Sungut's, uh, they do different exclusives every year, several different ones for uh, Wonderfest in Japan. And Baragon is one of their ongoing exclusives that they do. Uh, it's the same figure that you see here, but every year uh, they do a different color variant each year. And this year's color variant for 2019 really caught my eye. Uh, it, purple is one of my favorite colors, and just the translucent, you know, plastic with the purple glitter and whatnot, and the gold just looked amazing. And I couldn't wait to get my hands on one, if at all possible. And luckily... I'll shout him out again, Greg, Eggsy and Japanese Imported Toys, you know him, you love him from G-Fest, I've gotten a lot of great stuff from him, and of course this is another one of those great things that I got from him. And again, you know, through him you can get a lot of things that are exclusive Wonderfest stuff, uh, exclusive only in Japan stuff, whether it be Marmots, Bandai's, Bandai Premiums, all kinds of stuff. So definitely go to him, guys. You know, you know, don't try to negotiate on anything, please, because you know his prices are set where they're at. You know, you got to remember he's got to make a little bit of a profit on these guys because some of these stuff, you know, he does import, and again, he pays you know more than what they were originally worth because he does auctions and stuff like that. So sometimes he has to outbid people and and whatnot. And but he's a good solid guy. Like he doesn't sell anything for insanely crazy amounts of uh, money you know what I mean he's not gonna rip you off so everything that he has it's a good set price you know and just go with it he's a good guy you know he'll get you your stuff I can't recommend Greg enough so definitely buy yourself buy your stuff from Exian imported Japanese toys Greg thank you again for this guy and let's get on with this review so this year, Wonderfest 2019, I've never gotten a Wonderfest exclusive. And so this figure is special to me because it is my first ever Wonderfest exclusive figure. And I'm blown away. You know, he, he's a little tiny, you know, you know, this and that. And, you know, some people have been like, man, for the price that you, you know, did pay Greg for him, you better be happy with it. You guys, when you... When you intake that Greg needs to make a profit, you know, he imported this, it's from Wonderfest, you know, it's an exclusive uh, color variant for this year only. You know, you take all that stuff into, into consideration. The price, uh, there's, there's almost, you know, sure there is a stopping point with prices, but really for what I did pay for this guy, which was about $150, uh, plus just a little bit of shipping, wasn't bad. But... Let's just take a look at the uh, card header here, because he does come in a bag. Here's the front part of the card header. Got the 2019 Godzilla, uh, you know, licensing logo sticker. And then on the back, you got Sungut's Factory, character, figure, and art. Got their website right there. You know, choking hazard, warning, made in Japan. And then, of course, you got the price. 3,500 yen, you know, which rounds up to about, you know, I think like 35 or 40 bucks at the show. That's at the show, you guys. And again, they make limited number of these. Uh, they only come in the one color variant for each year, if I'm correct. Uh, again, it's imported. Greg had to make a profit. So, yeah, from 40 to 150 is what I paid, plus just a little bit of shipping. So yeah, you know, it is a, a big flux in price, but when you take everything under consideration, I am not disappointed with what I paid for this guy at all. He's just awesome. I love the color variant. And so that's enough blabbering on about prices and why things cost uh, the way they do sometimes, you know. Again, as long as you don't get, you know, too crazy. Like if this guy was pushing, you know, 200, you know, I want to say if he was pushing more than 150, like... Then that'd be pushing it. Like, I want to say, the way that I like this figure, I think I'd go like 160 max. So, I wouldn't have, uh, 
I wouldn't have got him if he was more than 160. So, but anyway. So that's enough with the card header. Get Greg's business card out of the way. I might showcase that one more time at the end of the video. And let's just get on to the figure. So here is the Wonderfest 2019 exclusive Sungut Baragon. Starting off with colors, paints. I mean, guys, just look at him. Beautiful. Beautiful colors. Again, he's a translucent plastic all the way around. You can kind of, you know, see where the glitter, you know, breaks in some points and you can see through to the other side. You can kind of see my finger there. So he is translucent all the way around. You can see my hand through the other side there. The purple glitter looks great. He's got nice silver for his teeth, his eyes, and his claws on his hands and his feet. Those are a silver, not a white. Black pupils. Gold horn, gold on his chest, and then gold running down his back. Just a beautiful, beautiful variant. And I know Greg has a um, a Sungut uh, Frankenstein uh, glowy that you know goes with the Sungut Baragon that came out last year as an exclusive. I might eventually pick that up. Just because I don't have a Frankenstein in my collection, and it would be finally cool to have a Frankenstein go with uh, one of the Baragons that I have. Which really isn't too many. Besides this, you know, including this guy, I think I have like a, maybe a total of four Baragons in my collection. And that's the classic Baragon, not the GMK. So, definitely need to pick up some more Baragons. I need to get an original Bandai Baragon. I know Greg has a few of those. So, Greg, if you're watching this, those are things that are on my wish list. A Bandai uh, original Baragon and uh, the Sungut's glowy Frankenstein. Might eventually pick both of those up from you in the future. But sculpt wise, looks good. Teeth are nicely etched into the sculpt. Same with the eyes. Horn, beautifully sculpted. Ears, beautifully sculpted. Again, Sungut follow, follows under the uh, lines of, you know, Marmots and M1s, Bull Marks. You know, they're they're stylized. You know, they're not, you know, they, they look like the monster they're representing, but at the same time, they're, I don't want to say deformed, but they're just stylized. All the, you know, scales or what you want to call Baragon's back, I have no idea. Armadillo-ish type back, you know, design. Running all the way down to the end of his tail. Looks good. He's even got the little warts and bumps and stuff into the sculpt down here on his legs, even though they're hard to see because of the uh, way the figure's colored, but they are there. Claws on his hands and his feet look good. He's even got a couple warts here and there on his uh, arms. So there is a lot of nice detailing in the sculpt once you do get this figure in hand. Looks very great. Spikes on the top of his head. Very nicely well done. Again, the camera is not... I mean, the camera's picking up the figure, but just seeing this guy in person is just, he's just beautiful. He's just amazing. Articulation, his head, you know, you can rotate it and spin it all the way around if you want to. Arms, you know, you can spin those too. Nothing in the legs, nothing in the tail. So just a little bit of arm movement and head movement, again, whatever you want to. Do pose him, head looking left or right, arms up, arms down, arms normal. So pretty basic for articulation. Next on, um, you know, I'll just go ahead and do some scaling. I did pull out some figures just so you can see definitely the 100% size of this guy and get an idea. Uh, let me scale him up with, let me get a basic Bandai. You know, pretty much everybody has this guy in one shape, form, or another, whether it's the 50th anniversary memorial box like I have, or if you just got the uh, basic other Bandai that's just black. But there he is with a 6-inch Bandai, you know, and then NECAs are about the same. I didn't bring a NECA out to size up with him, but, you know, just so you get an idea of kind of how small and beefy this guy is, because he's beefy in a fat way almost. But, so there he is with a 6-inch Bandai. 
here he is with one of the other Baragons in my collection. Here he is with a Reveltech Baragon. Pretty much almost the same size. Reveltech Baragon is just a little smaller. And of course his body is all a little smaller. But there he is with a Reveltech Baragon. Let's see. Let's size him up with some Marmots and M1s that I have. Here he is with Final Wars Rodan from Marmot. Let me get my camera to adjust here. There we go. Kind of get it centered and nice. So there he is with Final Wars Rodan from Marmot. You know, looks good. Both very shiny and colorful figures. Let's size him up with the Marmot 1984, and this is the original Marmot. Alright, he's Marmot, right? Yeah, Marmot. <clears throat> Let's get him out of the way. Here he is with the M1 Titanosaurus. You know, again, this is just so you have a good idea on how big this guy really is, which he's really not that big. He's kind of small. But again, he's cool. Just because he's small doesn't mean that he sucks. He's an awesome figure. Here he is with the Marmot uh, reissue 1984 with the blue coloring. Looks really good. Again, and I have most of all these guys, you know, grouped together on a shelf. And they all look good together. Baragon fits in well with the crew. Here he is with the Vinyl Paradise Marmot Gauss. And the Vinyl Paradise Marmot Space Gauss. Both the Gauss brothers. Thank you again, James Hartman, for helping me acquire Gauss. And then sending me Space Gauss without even telling me anything as a gift. I still, you know, will always remember that. I love it when my friends are just really thoughtful that way. So there he is, sized up with, with them. I don't know how I can kind of do a side profile here. Let's get the Gauss brothers out of the way. And lastly, let's size them up with a couple other Baragons that I got in my collection. Here's the 25 centimeter 1965 X Plus Baragon. Looks good. Set him over here. And lastly, the Diamond Reissue 30 centimeter 1965 X Plus Baragon. And again, if you're watching this, congratulations to you who won the uh, 1968 Baragon head that came with this figure. I gave that away as a prize, like a little head bust prize, for uh, the first ever Tucson Godzilla Festival that I hosted last month. So congratulations to you. Uh, this is the figure that the head would be going on, but again, I just like the 65 head more than the 68. So, I just decided to give the 68 head away as a prize last month. So, congratulations to you who won that. I know you were very happy. So, there he is with the 30 centimeter Baragon from X Plus. And that's about it for sizing and whatnot. So, just to wrap up this review, you know, again, price. You know, everybody's everybody's different, you know, and what they can afford and what they think, you know, is good, you know. I, I do have had a couple people who think I'm crazy for what I paid for this guy. But, again, when you come over the fact that he's an exclusive, there's only so much, so many of these uh, variants made. Granted, they come out with them every year, but I don't think they're ever going to do this variant color scheme again. So you take all that in, you take in Greg has to make a profit at some point because he did, you know, pay a good price for this figure as well. 
and then importing exclusive only so many made in this variant so on and so forth you know again I wouldn't if it was more than 160 I wouldn't have got it so you know I'm happy I'm happy that I have my very first Wonderfest exclusive thank you again Greg here he is you guys contact him look him up on Facebook look up Exian on Facebook Greg's got great inventory and he's a good guy good solid guy to buy from I can't recommend him enough I've gotten so much from him over the years at G-Fest and then even here at home just ordering from him so that's about it uh, you know I think I can probably fit this in right here there we go anyway you guys I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the Wonderfest uh, 2019 Wonderfest exclusive Sungut's Baragon and yeah like always, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.